we are so excited about this first of its kind festival of the arts here in the city of Newton. A couple of years ago, we were thinking um, about how the city could promote the arts, promote culture, and bring people together of different backgrounds, ethnicities, and celebrate who we are. So we knew we had local talent here. Many of you in this, sitting around in this audience, we knew we had artists, musicians, people that every single day make Newton what it is. I think a cultural capital in Massachusetts. <laughs> Music for Food was initiated in part because especially young musicians need to feel connected to their communities. And for us as their mentors, teachers, and guides, we wanted to provide a vehicle, um, a structure, if you will, for them to feel that they can use their talents, the thing that they practice isolated in a practice room 10 hours a day sometimes, to make a difference in the community, an actual physical difference. Not only, not that I'm minimizing it, but the spiritual and ephemeral difference that is made when people hear music, but also to know that that concert is actually making a physical, substantial difference for our community. And it's very good for the audience, too, because suddenly the audience is a responsible part of a concert. They're producing that food. So, you all, we thought what better way to promote that than to look at bringing folks together for one month and celebrating who we are as a city and promoting that for Newton and beyond. There are two programs. One is Monday, May 18th from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock at the Scandinavian Living Center in West Newton. And that program is called Telling Our Stories. It will be a program of Newton residents and people who work in Newton telling the stories of their lives, incidents of their lives, moments in their lives. And that is co-sponsored by the Newton Free Library and Newton at Home. It will be a wonderful afternoon, free and open to the public with refreshments generously donated by Whole Foods. So that's one program. The second program, also that week, is an author's night, Thursday, May 21st, at the Showcase Cinemas, Super Lux, at the street in Newton at 7 p.m. And we will have a panel of three Newton-based authors speaking about their books, signing their books, answering questions from the audience in a beautiful, luxurious movie theater setting. We will have cocktails and hors d'oeuvres, and the authors on board are Anita Diamond, who wrote The Red Tent, and most recently, The Boston Girl, William Landay, who wrote Defending Jacob, which takes place in Newton, and many of you have read, and Neil Swidey, who's written Trapped Under the Sea, a hair-raising account of an event that took place in Boston. Our moderator is William Novak, also a fine writer. And it was just how incredible how many people just came in and signed up and started working together so quickly on this project. I mean, all of you sitting in the audience and many, many, uh, many others who are not here. So we are thrilled. We are thrilled that May is the first, uh, first of its kind, first of, first of many. <laughs> many.